All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Dr. Umar Shankar Tripathi, and I am your physics educator. So, guys, in this session, we are going to talk about that how we can solve trickiest problems of physics. So, see, many students say, sir, we are feeling lot of difficulty in solving a physics numerical. Okay. Now, I always in all the videos I tell you one thing that see, if you are good at some basic concepts, you are going to do questions well you are going to approach the question in the right way and obviously when you are approaching the question in the right way you are going to get it solved okay so now in this session i am going to tell you that how you can think of multiple concepts and you can apply those in one question so for that please understand it so i always say that there are some basic concepts that we need to be good at so the first one is your little differentiation you must know the basic of differentiation and you must know the basic of integration right not i'm talking about like you don't have to go to a very high level differentiation or integration but to some basic extent you must know a little bit of differentiation and integration if you are good at these things you are going to see that you are able to approach many physics question very easily on this channel we have given you the differentiation and integration that are just sufficient for the neat physics you need not to study any more than that there is one video of one hour for differentiation one video of one hour for integration you can go for that now the one more important concept is the vector see what we think and we ignore the vectors okay we are going we are trying to learn the vectors during the chapter i believe this is not the right approach okay see vectors are employed they are used in many many concepts be it newton's law of motion be it uh, the properties of material so in many contexts and there are many many chapters so in many chapters you are utilizing the vectors information motion in a plane motion in 1d everywhere vectors are applied so they are very very important okay now fourth thing is that if you want to do good you must know law of motions well and equations of motion equations of motion so these are the basic concept you understand that you are going to see in each and every chapter of the physics in the majority okay so being good at basics see when you are having good hold at the basics you can approach many many problems like for example if we talk about the bernoulli equation right now when we are using the bernoulli equation we can use it in dynamics problem that is one part but when you are deriving the bernoulli equation also you are utilizing these very equations only how you derive the bernoulli equation so for deriving the bernoulli equation what you do only one thing that you have to do f is equal to ma right that is the newton's second law only so by doing the f is equal to ma you can get this equation derived okay what is the bernoulli equation sir p by rho g that is the pressure head plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to constant so what is the bernoulli equation what is the bernoulli statement it says the sum of pressure head kinetic head and the datum head remains constant during a flow under some assumptions like the flow has to be ideal the flow has to be incompressible it has to be in viscous irrotational though irrotational in viscous ideal is somewhat the same thing the flow should be steady and one more thing that it must be along a streamline okay so when we are writing the bernoulli equation so most of us are knowing this bernoulli equation right but when it comes to solving a physics question we somewhat we somewhat thought that this is very difficult sir how we are going to do it we are unable to understand the question we are unable to realize that how we can approach the problem so let's take one example let's suppose we are having a problem like this so in this problem we are having let's suppose we are having some liquid filled till the very top of this reservoir okay and there is a opening here and from this opening the stream of jet is coming out and it is striking the ground at some distance of x now you need to find this x you need to find this x now how we can approach this physics problem first you try to understand it then you bottom down see and from this example you can you know amplify this uh, example to any of the chapter 
okay so whenever we are getting a good question of physics it might be from the multiple concept okay now what my suggestion to you is this that whenever you see a problem you first bottom down that from which chapter the problem has been asked okay when you bottom down this thing that what are the concepts are going to apply in this definitely you are reducing or converging the concepts in your mind okay see in the day of the examination we are having so many things in our mind okay it is not about solving the question it is about processing the information right when in the 12th paper when in the board paper we are going to do what happens there is on one day physics examination it will be there we need not to carry the information of biology chemistry though we are having that information but we need not to carry on the board but in the neat examination you need to carry your 11th physics you need to carry your 12th physics same way chemistry and same way biology right so all the chapters all the units information you need to use on the very same day right so so many concepts will be there in your mind now when you see a question you first try to converge the concept you first try to bottom down that what could be the possible concept so how i do it i say okay some fluid is involved and it is in motion sometimes some type of you know cavity is there in this and the stream is coming out the stream is coming out so definitely one thing will be applied that is bernoulli equation but how i am going to get this x how i am going to get this x now do you think that this is some sort of a projectile motion on this channel we have done the projectile motion isn't it in the motion in a plane i have told you the projectile motion from the very basic that it is nothing but the motion under the gravity you need not to memorize the formulas anymore okay now see what is going to happen so if it is some sort of a projectile motion it is going to have a velocity it is going to have a velocity like this okay it is having a velocity so it is a horizontal stream so it is having a velocity like this so let's call it ux right and what is going to be the vertical velocity so on this channel i have given you one video or in one session we have dealt with when the projectile is from the height right it is somewhat similar to that so ui is zero when it is coming directly in the x direction so ui is going to be zero okay now when ui is zero when ui is zero so when the stream is started from here in what time it is going to reach here in what time so sir let's apply the motion equation of motion in y direction so if i apply the equation of motion let's suppose this is point 1 this is point 2 so can i say s is equal to ui t plus half g or plus half at square okay a y t square so i am applying the motion in y direction in from between 1 and 2 point 1 and 2 now between point 1 and 2 when we apply this equation what we are going to get so what is the displacement in y direction sir it is 0.5 and it is minus 0.5 sir how it is minus we haven't read like that don't worry go watch my videos you will be able to understand see what we have done so under the motion under the gravity problem we have considered one sign convention what is the sign convention that we have considered so from some reference if we are going in the downward we are taking minus only right so one is the reference so from one when it is downward so i have taken minus 0.5 now it will become plus half now what is the direction now what is the direction of this y ay so ay is motion due to gravity acceleration due to gravity g and g is always downward so when g is always downward can i write it minus g and this will become t square so from here this 2 and 0.5 minus minus will be gone and do you realize that we are getting t as 1 by root g isn't it we are getting the t as 1 by root g okay now whatsoever is happening when the stream is flowing from here it is going to strike the ground in 1 by root g second in 1 by root g second i hope it is fine to everyone now the second part is we have to find this x now if i apply the same equation motion equation in x direction can i write that the displacement in x direction see this is point 1 and point 2 so i am applying between point 1 to point 2 okay now when i apply between point 1 and point 2 what is going to happen so the displacement is going to be this x right and what is the velocity in x direction it is uxt and what is the acceleration in x direction so it is motion under the gravity gravity always acts in the 
y direction in minus y direction right so there is no acceleration in x direction so from here can i say x is equal to ux into t but t we already have that is 1 by root g now if at all you can find the ux your answer will be there your question is sorted out right see how we approach the question now what you require out of all these information that is given in this question we require this ux if we have the ux now we'll have the answer right now from where you'll get the ux now let's come to the Bernoulli equation so if i apply the Bernoulli equation if i apply the Bernoulli equation let's suppose between let's say that this is point o so if i apply the Bernoulli equation between o to 1 i know p naught by rho g plus v naught square by 2g plus z naught is equal to p1 by rho g plus uh, v1 square by 2g plus z1 okay first we have written the Bernoulli equation now you see here at O point the pressure is atmospheric at stream we are considering the point 1 at the exit okay so we can consider the pressure to be atmospheric there also so we can let go of it right O point is on the free surface of the reservoir we know we can consider the velocity there as negligible right okay so we have cancelled this out now what is z naught so z naught so it is height from the datum so the datum is at 1 so we can consider it as 0.5 okay and this will become v1 square by 2g and what is this v1 sir this is ux only so it is ux square by 2g and this is 0.5 so from here are we getting ux as root g isn't it because 0 0.5 and 2 they are sorted out right they become 1 and we have the g it will become root g now see what is going to be the x then so ux is root g this is also root g so root g by root g they will be cancelled and we are going to get 1 meter okay so this problem see how we approach this this problem we first understood that what we are needed for what we are required and what concepts i can apply in this question so guys this is my suggestion to you that whenever you see a tricky question a good question of physics you firstly bottom down to the concepts and then try to think that how you can use those concepts to solve this physics problem trust me any problem of the physics can be solved from the concept you already know the toppers who are going to crack the examination or they already have cracked in the previous year they there is no difference between you and them they are also knowing these very equations they are they have also studied the very these chapters only they also have followed ncrt they have also uh, solved multiple mock tests they have solved many many questions if you do the same if we are going to approach the right way if you let go of the procrastination, if you create a habit of a study on the time when it is needed, when you are following your timetable, there is no stopping you and you could be the next topper. From these concepts only, others can do, then trust me and trust yourself that you can do as well. Okay. So I'll be coming up with some more videos on such topics, on such concepts and such ideas that you can implement in your studies so guys please don't forget to like and subscribe please subscribe the channel please come to the main videos her sir is teaching biology on our channel nikhil sir is teaching the chemistry so with this do not forget to subscribe and have a good day we'll see you in the next session